help to me. Tony is the one who makes things happen. I, I'm just happy to help. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Well, without any further ado, go get him. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons Delight. Let's talk about Mariah May. So I talked about Tony Storm in the last video, uh, where they were all in the room together, and RJ City announced to her that she was going to have a match next week, which is huge. It's huge that she's going to have a match for the title. It's her first defense of the title since she got it at full gear. Um, so she's gonna, uh, we're going to end up finding out about that. So definitely go back and watch that video. Um, I have the link to it at the end screen at the end of the video. But let's talk about Mariah May. It's, it's a quick segment here with Mariah May, RJ City, as he spoke with Mariah May, and it's the first time we maybe heard from her directly since she first came to AEW. But we also saw her when she first met Tony Storm a couple of weeks ago, and when she gave her flowers at Full Gear and all that stuff. Good, cool stuff. They had a segment too, but I I actually missed Dynamite last week. But I know Tony Storm had like a, a little segment last week as well. But um, Mariah May said she uh, had quite the run in Japan, and she's now dying to show AEW what she can do. May actually thanked City for connecting her with Tony Storm. May knocked on Tony Khan's office door and entered the room. So, this is interesting. So, we don't know what this was about, but we know Mariah May's been trying to get her opportunities. We haven't seen her in the ring yet, which is also interesting. So, maybe that's coming soon as well. Because uh, I definitely am desperate to see what she... I, I've, I've watched her indie videos, and she is amazing in the ring, bro. So, um, and I saw some of her uh, Japan stuff, too. She's amazing. If you if you guys haven't had a chance to see Mariah May, make sure y'all go to YouTube and see some of her uh, matches. Uh, you, you will be... I wasn't even shocked by it, because I knew who she was already. But, because I saw some of her indie stuff, somebody had told me about her last year. But, um... It was just, it was just like, man, how crispy it was. It, it, that's what took me by surprise. But it was some awesome stuff. But yeah, I wonder what this meeting was about with Tony Khan, though. Like, you know, um, it was very interesting. Like, it, it left you with a lot of mystery there. So let's see what that's about, man. Because Mariah May definitely gives you the vibe that she's a, you know, she's out there, but she's a little sneaky too. Uh, because we know she she's up to something with Tony Storm, man. So, um. I wonder what it could be. What if, I think it's too early to do this, but what if Mariah May is the person to face Tony Storm next week? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. But the reason why I don't think they should, I think it's too soon. I think you built this up between Tony Storm and Mariah May. And shit, Mariah May could become the person that even gets the title off of her. But I think it should be Chris Statlander uh, to do it uh, if, you, if you build her up back into this uh, woman's... Uh, Division, you could also do Sheeta again. I, I don't know what, what direction they're going to go in. But Tony Storm, the only thing is I think it's, it's just going to be too predictable. But maybe it, maybe it's a goofy match where Mariah May doesn't even take it seriously and she actually just takes the pinfall to Tony Storm making it easy so that she can keep the title. I don't know. I, I think it's going to be something goofy, though, but we'll see, man. We'll see what happens, man. Give me your thoughts, early thoughts of what y'all think is going to happen, what that meeting was about with him, or Tony, uh, Tony Khan. So let me know, man. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news, still like.